so it's been a while uh, since I have posted videos back to back it's because uh, I went to India for it it's not a vacation my mom was in India and she had a uh, small surgery that needed to be done so I had to go to India for her surgery and to bring her back so one of my pigeon buddy as well as my neighbors took care of my birds and yesterday I got a chance to clean one loft just clean the bottom I still need to clean the nest but uh the birds did pretty okay when I was gone uh, yeah, I lost a few birds a few means like three or four which is typical things happen but uh other than that, they all are fine. So, uh, I just want to let everybody know that, uh, you know, I might need to take more trips in the future when I went to India. I saw some of my family members, especially my uncle and my aunt, and most of them are, you know, elderly people in the 70s. and. I should go over there more often and uh, see them so the main reason i haven't been traveling a lot is because of the birds and uh, you know because you don't have anyone to watch your birds when you're going even if they're watching the birds you don't have a peace of mind in your mind you're like too much worried about it so so after deep thinking i've decided that I'm gonna get rid of all my birds. Uh, somebody has already shown interest in all my rollers, so I'm just, the rollers are pretty much almost sold. I'm just waiting uh, for a date for that person to come and pick them up. But uh, I just posted all my homers and my Indian fantails. I would, I would say I have at least uh, 100 homers Indian fantails, maybe 40, 50. The homers, you know, they have, you can see all the colors, all the different colors. And, you know, these birds are mainly for color. I wouldn't call these, some of them blacks and Andalusians have Trenton blood in them. Some of the reds have, uh, what do you call, Muleman uh, and Trenton. There are some blue bars and blue chick, they're Hubans. Uh, but you know again like i don't fly these birds i don't raise these birds so i don't really classify my birds as raising material they're mainly colored homers so all these birds they're you know all these different colors like you have red used uh, sorry i don't have red used. i take it back frill stencil almonds andalusians opals all of these uh Versus the reds, all these birds are uh, now available for sale. And I'd rather have one person, if somebody wants to buy them all, like all the homers, they get a deal. But if you wanna buy singles, you know, the price can differ because you're just picking one bird. So anyway, I've posted them all for sale. Have a few people showing interest and most of the people wanted like a few birds. So uh, if any of you guys are interested, uh, reach out to me. Uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, anytime, you know, anybody comes, you know, they might be all gone. With the rollers, you know, I know like there was a guy earlier asked me to, if I would sell them all, he was interested in all of them. So, uh, I reached out to him and he's he's still ready for the rollers so uh, he should be i think he said that sometime in uh september he will be it's a few hours away he would drive and come and pick him up but these are all the homers yeah i do have some of these homers that have bottles in them too a lot of them with dilute jeans in them the birds are molting heavily. So that's one of the reasons some of these birds, they don't look 
They're great. Like, look at this log. I cleaned it yesterday. Look at all the feathers on the ground already because they're molting heavily. I'm going to clean my two of my other lofts and then uh, I'm going to separate the hens and cocks soon. But uh, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update about the birds. They all are doing fine. Uh, they're healthy. Everybody's going through mold, so I give them a lot of grit as well as uh, I give them uh, peanuts because they are uh, they're good for the skin and feathers. Oh, my favorite uh, blue white bar. The hen. Mm. Mm. Of course, there are these crested homers too, and saddles, and you know, solids too, and pied. But anyway, I was just, I thought I'd just give a quick video of uh, this loft since I cleaned it. I'm hoping to clean the other loft tomorrow, just the floor. But you know, if the temperature has been too hot over here, you gotta wake up early in the morning and start cleaning them. Because when you get in the afternoon, it's so hard. Well, that's about it. Thank you guys.